Welcome back to the Eric Crown Crypto Channel, wishing you a happy new start to this maybe very nasty Thursday. Of course, Thursday, statistically speaking, is the most likely day for Bitcoin to dump. Doesn't necessarily mean that all Thursdays are dumps, but if Bitcoin is going to have a big dump, it has been most likely to be on Thursday over the past eight months as I've been harvesting this data. Anyways, we'll be going over some hopium ideas in the lower term timeframes as well, as there actually is some pretty damn compelling evidence. Um, and I do suspect that actually a lot of things will be set in motion today. We might not see like the big move today, so to speak, uh, whether it be to the upside or the downside. But I do think that the initial confirming factor, which is going to greatly increase the probabilities of, you know, of one side or the other, um, will probably be met today. So that is going to be the big focus, those numbers and what to be aware of. And other than that, I want to once again let you know they can still get the Jewel Light for free for the first 30 days if you follow the directions in the link in the description below. And then also there is a link to Apex's centralized exchange, which you may or may not be interested in with all the exchanges going down. Might be a value to you. It also gives you 5% off your trading fees. All right, sweet. Let's just jump right into it and start off first things first with a follow-up of yesterday's short-term time from analysis. We were looking at hidden bearish evidence on the four hour time frame as likely to be get any other tests of the bottom side of the overall range that being the you know the the low twenty six thousand dollar territory which thus far we have gotten on cme twenty six two hundred low and decent ish bounce let's say thus far um, also, we were looking at the three hour HPDR setup over here. It, this was a downside setup, obviously. Um, in this case, I'll just reshow the statistics alongside with it. We were looking at about a 66% probability of a short term downside move. Um, and in this case, we did get a short term downside move, but we actually didn't see the trade uh, specifically closed on this particular one uh, with the, you know, with the settings that we do have here. But when we go into the performance summary, we can see that the average winning trade was about three and a half percent or so. So three and a half percent, you know, is kind of in, in alignment with the data already. So I would say that it's it's not like so. Yeah, we, we saw about a three percent move to the downside. So it wouldn't be so far fetched to say that, hey, you know, that one was mostly met. Um, but if we go by the definition of the script, no, it was not. So, you know, a bit of a conundrum right there, but it would be playing hand in hand with the next thing that I'm, uh, that I'm about to speak about, which is the major area for the bear Oz first, which is on the two hour time frame right here and pretty much all time frames actually, uh, as long as Bitcoin is, is above basically, basically, uh, what is it yesterday or today's low? Yeah, I think it's yesterday's low actually, uh, 26,100. Hopium still alive for the bull loss, uh, perhaps even um, putting in a bit of a higher low here on the four hour time frame. Below 26,100, even on a four hour time frame closing basis, at that point, very likely to retest, you know, this, this week's lows and probably set up for uh, a major continuation play next week if that were to happen. Um, by the same token, for the bull loss, very fucking important, your first major, your first, I shouldn't be saying it like that, but the first major warning signal that Bitcoin bull loss are gonna put in a higher low here and charge their way back up north of 27,000 bucks would be with a four hour closure above 26,600. That's on spot price action, by the way. Uh, so those are the two major areas. Now, I do wanna bring up a, a couple of competing things here. I know it might get a little bit confusing, but with those two major numbers, those are the ones that you know I'd be really uh, having my eye on. Uh, so first things first, over here on the two-day time frame for spot price action, we do see that the two-day time frame jewel is is potentially going to put in a pretty nasty downside setup. Actually, uh, it has not turned dark blue yet, as you would expect, but it is already supported by DMI going red and rejection off the slower moving oscillator. So we would be expecting that if this one is going to play out or, or if, if it is going to fire off, we see this happen uh, by the next closing period, which is going to be tomorrow night for, for Friday's closure, actually. Um, meaning that if you see this one tur turn dark blue tomorrow, pretty damn good insight that we're probably going to see this one break down um, well below, you know, this week's low coming into next week, let's say. Um, uh, by the same token, that would also be a violation of the pretty major areas on the weekly over here. Of course, CME is going to be closing the week out tomorrow for Friday, and uh, and, and you know anywhere below twenty six thousand bucks is going to be below that white two hundred cent moon average, and also the green fifty five. In, in my in my opinion, that one's a little bit more important right here. Um, but you know more to the point, if Bitcoin starts to close below those regions. That would be another damn good indication that, yeah, uh, we're going to see some significant downside maybe later on this month. Um, until then, as long as Bitcoin's above, and especially if Bitcoin even closes above, just maintains above um, by Friday's closure, above that white turn and simple especially, which is, again, 26400 on CME specifically, which has a $100 premium for spot price action and, uh, and is actually above that area right now, that would be a damn good signal. Uh, again, for the Bulas, probably coming into next week. Um, but uh, but obviously, what you know, the Bulas really want to 
see is not just closing above that area, but also closing even a short term time frame back above uh, 26, um, uh, 600. Uh, those two things would start to go hand in hand together. And at that point, 27,000 bucks is my major area. If you start to see closures above there, very, 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 very good chance that some of the more bullish ideas that we've been looking at are going to be playing out, um, you know, throughout the rest of this month. Anyways, uh, also what uh, also something to be aware of is that on the two day time or not the two day, but the two hour time frame right here, HPDRO is starting to turn up. It's kind of like a directionally based volatility indicator, maybe not perfectly set in that case. Um, but, you know, just I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find things for the boo laws here. I want to balance this one out. Uh, and then, of course, when we go over and check out stochastic momentum we can see where the major pivots are uh, we'll get to the, we'll get to that little pizza later <laughs> no it's not a pizza it's a channel um, but in this case we can see that the daily stochastic momentum will turn up above 26,600 okay very very interesting right there that number coming up uh, a few times now 12 hour time frame is also going to be freshly turning up um, assuming that the next period closes above 25,700 6 hour time frame is going to be turning down below 27,000 bucks so uh, so a little bit more concerning right there. Four hour time frame also down below 26,750 and hourly is going to be actually vertical above 26,350. So we're not really seeing any like major uh, major agreement between these different time frames. What does that mean to me? It means to me that it's better to be going off of ranges and resolutions. And then of course, you know, we do see a bit of a consensus above about, let's call it like upper 26s and then certainly a consensus below uh, about 26,100. Uh, on a closing basis and then of course what's the last um you know what's the last piece of hoping right here as well well we still have this not we but bitcoin has this in play uh which is the falling channel which i haven't really been harvesting data on these patterns i don't really care too much about patterns to be honest with you um uh you know at, you know at, at, you know anytime recently but i uh, when i did do studies on this like years ago i believe the hit rate for something like this was about low mid, maybe mid to low 60 percent um in this case to the upside uh now of course upside resolution would be confirmed above about twenty seven thousand eight hundred now uh, on a 12 hour closing basis and at that point there would be an implied move um somewhere around 31,500 ish region and uh and well you know at that point other for forces of nature likely take over and propel it you know much higher but um probably into like the mid 30s maybe even deep 30s at that point uh, but until then you know today i do suspect that we're pr we're probably going to see one of those short-term time frame resolutions um happen and uh, and that's going to set things up like i said if it's going to be the downside i mean probably sooner rather than later but um but probably next week honestly it's probably still going to be some more sideways within this range um but for right now opium still uh, on both sides and uh in the major areas is really like i said the big focus of today's video so hopefully that was clear I know that things are you know pretty damn boring around these times but i do want to commend anyone who's kind of sticking around staying with me through these uh, nerdy ta times because a lot of a lot of important things do happen obviously and I suspect that we're going to see one of these things uh, happen today. Anyways, um, yeah, I think that's a good place for me to be leaving off. I want to ask, actually, for the community, um, for, the, for, for the last couple of days, the thumbnails have been more normal <laughs> they've been more normal i'm curious do you like them more like that or do you like the fucking crazy youtube shit that i absolutely despise <laughs> um but seems to do okay on the youtubes at any rate i think we're gonna be going with this one anyway so so uh so uh i i you know i i do actually want to hear your opinion um but uh but hopefully hopefully it's the same opinion as mine <laughs> all right uh all jokes aside want to be wishing you the best of best take care much love and see you hopefully friday